Hi, I'm Eric Youngren from Island Energy Systems, and here I'm going to show off a off-grid power panel for run. This this system is going to go to the an island in the Caribbean to run a industrial woodworking shop. Uh, they're going to build wooden boats down there. This thing can put out 12 kilowatts of AC power continuously, and uh, it's going to have a big 1500 amp hour sealed battery on it which will be able to run this wood shop all day long running table saws and band saws and drill presses and, and just about anything you can think of to plug in that runs on 240 volt AC power. Um, there are several different components to the system. General layout, this would be the DC side over here. Over there is the AC side. The, on the far side over here we've got solar charge controllers. These regulate the charge going into the battery from the solar array. Um, control the voltage that the, that the battery receives to charge the batteries appropriately and not overcharge the batteries. And um, these are real high quality maximum power point tracking charge controllers from Outback Power that uh, make the most out of the solar current that's available from the, from the PV array. This is the DC circuit breaker enclosure that has circuit breakers for the solar coming in for the charge controllers to the batteries and then for the inverters coming out of the battery. It's also got a, a battery amp hour meter here which gives us battery voltage, it gives us amperage, uh, current flowing in or out of the batteries and it also gives a percentage full indicator of where the state of the charge of the battery is sort of like a fuel gauge for the battery. It gives you a real quick indication of how fully charged the battery is. Um, these are sealed sine wave inverter chargers from Outback Power. Each one of these is rated at 3 kilowatts, 3,000 watts of continuous power. They will surge to over twice that for short periods of time for starting motors that have high inrush inductive draw when they first power on. Um, these will operate in 120 volt configuration, 240 volt, in, they work together in series to make 240 volts, and then they also have, there's a transformer in here which allows them to share uh, the load and to run multiple circuits off of one inverter if the power needs are small, or to bring on more inverters as the power increases, but to not energize the inverters until they are required as an efficiency measure to keep the overall power consumption as low as possible um, as far as overhead for electronics, that kind of thing. This is the AC circuit breaker enclosure. It's got circuit breakers that protect the wire and the inverters and the loads for the power coming out of the inverters as well as inverter input. So if when the, there's a generator that'll be wired in here, that uh, goes through a circuit breaker as well. There's also a bypass here, so if something goes wrong and you need to run straight off of the generator, you can flip the bypass. That de-energizes the inverters. The inverter could actually be removed from the system, but all the loads will still function as normal with the current going straight from the generator to the loads. Um, there is a in remote control. This is called the mate. It's really the brain of the whole system right here. It communicates with all the inverters and all the charge controllers and this little guy in here which is called the FlexNet DC which is a DC battery uh, amp hour meter and current sensing shunt which gives a lot of indication of what is actually happening to the battery current flowing in or out of the battery. Uh, all the programming for the system happens through here. Uh, this also has ability to load uh, data to a computer network and you could even get this on the internet to monitor the system remotely and uh, keep track of a lot of different parameters and data of how the system operates. So an off-grid solar electric system basically has three major components. You got the power center which has your PV charge controllers, your inverters, and the various circuit breakers and meters to make all this stuff work together. Then you've got your batteries and your solar panels, the PV array. 